Hello and welcome to day three of bassoon, how to hold your instrument. So this is a very important lesson because if you're holding it improperly, you could get cramps in your left hand and it just makes playing not fun at all. First things first, we need to get something like a seat strap. You could find bassoon seat strap on Amazon. It's like 10 or 15 bucks. Fox brand, they sell, sell as one with a hook like this. Or if you don't have that and have a neck strap, you could also use this as a seat strap. What you have to do first, when you're sitting down in your chair, you wanna put your seat strap maybe two inches from the edge of the front of the chair. So it's gonna look something like, like that. If you have a seat, uh, if you have a neck strap, what you could do is basically use it like a seat strap. So if this is gone, we could use the neck strap right here. The hook should be on the right side of your seat. And when you sit down, you should make sure that your thighs are holding it down so it does not fall. So this is the hook and this is everything else, right? Next, we gotta hook our bassoon to the seat strap. What our bassoons hook onto is right here on the boot, opposite of the handle side, there should be a hook right here. What you do is you take your seat strap that you're sitting on. Right now, uh, I'm not. I'm sitting on my neck strap. This is a seat strap. I usually do use a seat strap. And what you wanna do is hook the hook through the hole. Right there, you see the hook is through the hole. So that when you're holding it, all, all the weight's on here. You have to make sure you're holding it with one other hand. Otherwise, it's gonna fall and break your instrument. What you're gonna do is hook your bassoon to the seat strap like this. So hook it on. It should be hanging on the seat strap, which is connected to your seat. Make sure to always have another hand on your instrument because if you don't, it's just gonna fall like this. Now you have your reed on. When you're just holding your bassoon, you wanna make sure the reed is almost exactly to where your mouth is. So all you have to do is just bring it forward and the reed's in your mouth, like that. Next, finger placement. Finger placement is a very hard thing on bassoon because all the holes are on the opposite side of the instrument so you can't see. A good way to practice finger placement is through a mirror. You sit in front of a mirror and just put your fingers down. Go open to all down, open all down. Your first finger should go on the first hole, which is right here. Middle finger should go onto the second hole, which is right here. And third finger should go on here, which has a ring on it. Some bassoons don't have this, but uh, mine does. Your pinky should be hovering over these two keys and your thumb should be on this key. It's called the whisper key. So that's for the left hand. When you're holding bassoon, it should only be touching right around here. Everything else is floating right here. It's only touching right here on this part of the palm. Next, the right hand. What you do is index finger is on the first hole. Second finger, uh, middle finger is on the ring hole. It has a ring right here. And the third finger should be on the big flappy part right here, right next to this key, right here, this key. This is your ring finger right there. Pinky should hover right around this key. Your thumb should just be hovering in the air and should it be touching a key. That's how you hold your instrument. Sit down, make sure it's in front of you, and you make the sound you did on the first day with your reed. It's just, it's in the bassoon now. So it'll make so, a sound sort of like this. That's with just three fingers down. With no fingers, it'll sound something like this. How I practice finger placement is go from open to close. Then make sure your fingers are lining up with the holes. And that's just all you do to open, close, open, close. When you're playing the instrument, you might let air leak through a key. I'm holding half the hole here and that'll cause the pitch to change. Make sure you're covering it using the flat part of your fingers. It shouldn't be the tip like a violin, it should be the, the meaty part. So all these meaty parts should be touching the holes so that the whole hole is covered. If you're not covering the whole hole, it'll sound bad. So this is me covering all the holes completely, playing one, two, three, that's it. And this is me accidentally having a finger not covering a hole completely. If you're not covering all the holes, it's gonna sound a different pitch. So make sure to cover all the holes when you're practicing your finger placement. So that's how to hold your instrument.